Okay, in order, in order to capture images of milk with food coloring and dish soap, I have all the supplies here. So you can see the bowl with milk. Uh, I'm actually using a soy milk, which is what we happen to have at the house right now. So it has a little yellowish cast, but if I overexpose slightly, I can turn that a little bit white. <clears throat> food, standard food cuddling. And then I have a little bit of dish soap with a Q-tip right here. My macro lens, off-camera flash with a um, little diffuser. And that can be created in multiple different ways if you don't have um, one of those type diffusers. So the first thing you want to do is to set focus. So I'm going to put a toothpick or a little stirring stick inside my bowl. I'm on manual focus. I'm going to focus in on that stick. Then I can remove it. Now it's time to add some drops of food coloring. Starting more in the center area. I find live view works really good because then you know where you're putting things. So I have a little bit of yellow. third color. Let's try some blue. If for some reason I didn't put the drops exactly where I wanted and they're outside of my screen, I can always move the bowl around slightly just to get those dots into the water, or I'm sorry, into the milk, into the frame. Sometimes I'll even take the little stick and just kind of make some little patterns before I add the dish soap. I can take a sample photo. And my sample photo has worked out nicely. I have the right exposure. I'm at 1 one hundredth of a second at f11. And I'm at 1 eighth power on my flash. Okay, so now I'm ready to add the dish soap and I'm going to watch the colors move. So using my shutter release, I'm ready to shoot as soon as the movement occurs, and go. And then I can go back to my toothpick, and I can again start to create some different swirls. I'm going to add a few drops now of the red, just to get a little bit different contrast. A little more dish soap by the red. Again, I can swirl it. to get some great geometric patterns. You can even rotate your bowl as needed if you'd like different areas. And that's all it is.